Hello everyone, welcome to The Social Doctor and this is Dr. Ayushi. The Social Doctor is a platform for the doctors by the doctors, where we discuss journeys, experiences and knowledge from successful medical practitioners. And today we have a very special guest, Dr. Kalrav Thakkar. He is here to discuss about his journey as an occupational medicine specialist. How did he, you know, occupational health physician, how did he enter into the space? How, what was his, you know, points of deciding of becoming an occupational health physician and how is his lifestyle everything in depth about this profession so welcome doctor to the platform it's really nice to have you here thank you dr ayushi yes. uh, what you have started is also uh, you know of paramount importance as well for the budding doctor right so yeah it is a, a commendable thing and what you have started and yeah, the people, uh, the students need the guidelines when they are, you know, out from their uh, graduation college. They don't have a very uh, specific clue, except that they just want to get into the PG of, you know, the established branch. Mm. But uh, those who don't get uh, into it, uh, they require some sort of guidelines or some, you know, path showing uh, from the, uh, you know, experienced physicians and uh, the persons. And this was the purpose you wanted to start it. Yes, yes, totally. Thank you so much, sir, for contributing to this. So, you know, the first start, um, first start understanding from your journey, you know, you have been practicing for more than a decade and, you know, now have your own, own setup yeah. and a startup with what, you know, whatever you can say, a company all together based out of Baroda. How did you start? What was your tipping point? If you can share a bit from your journey. See, uh, when I uh, graduated in 2011 with my internship completed, right? Mm. So at that point of time, I was also like looking for the, uh, you know, giving entrance exams and, uh, you know, getting into the uh, mainstream PG. I, I gave uh, multiple times. Uh, then I uh, didn't get, uh, didn't get my uh, seat of choice. I was wanting to have a surgical branch and I was not getting into it. So then I uh, gradually decided that uh, let it be. I'll do something good with my life. But uh, if it is not the surgical branch, I am not getting into it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, then one of my uh, friend showed it to me that uh, this is also an alternative branch you can pursue. And I got into the, uh, uh, got the admission uh, into it. And it is a nice course uh, run by, uh, at that point of time, it was uh, being conducted by Dr. J. H. Pallika in Baroda with MS University. Okay. So I, I went into it. I mean, I uh, took up the course and uh, yeah, it was a, a great learning. Uh, the, the kind of, uh, we were introduced to the whole new system, what we were being taught into the medical school, right? Because this was with the industry and this was with the corporates. Uh, the, the kind of environment they are having. Uh, and there is a lot of, uh, you know, manufacturing process also being uh, to be learned about, uh, with, about it. So, uh, yeah, it was a nice experience learning things. And then after I uh, went uh, in one of the industrial zone, it is a very well-known company uh, like Aditya Villa Group. Mm. Uh, my first assignment uh, as an occupational physician was a, a job uh, with the Aditya Billa group. Mm. So I went into it and uh, I, there also I, 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 uh, I, I did my job for one and a half hour, one and a half years. Mm. And then I decided to came back to Baroda. Mm. And uh, Baroda, it was uh, very, uh, it was my hometown and where this is where I stay. Mm. So I wanted to start something on my own. Once you get into the space, you get to know that where the prospect lies, mm. right? And where do your, you know, uh, <clears throat> uh, where, where do your heart want uh, want you to go? Mm. Because when I, I left the job in, uh, my, from my first assignment in Aditya Billa, I got some opportunity with, my, uh, with another uh, company mm. in Mumbai. So mm. I, I had two options whether to come to Baroda or uh, go with the another job in Mumbai. Mm. So I also went to, you know, uh, give interview to that. And uh, I was uh, selected also. But then somehow uh, my heart said that going back to Baroda was the best thing for me. 
So I, I went. I came back to Baroda. Joined here another, uh, you know, a good company uh, mm. with the salary, uh, and then started my own consulting. And then there was a, you know, it was uh, a lot of a journey, uh, which is is also not, uh, you know, I'm also not uh, convinced that this is the journey I have undertaken. Uh, okay. It is, yeah. But yeah, it it was worth it coming back to Baroda and starting my own consultation. Yes, but you are creating that for yourself. So now understanding, you know, he what all things are there as an occupational health physician because, you know, it's difficult to understand. You also understand when you were not into it. मतलब नहीं समझ में आता कि exactly what are the kind of work that people do in this. If you can explain yeah. a bit, you know, how things go in the industries. as an occupation see health. see occupational health is a space where you are assigned to uh, take care the health care needs of the employees in the companies uh, you are working right okay. yeah well, if you are working with a, a xyz company mm-hmm. their employees are uh, by default of the manufacturing process mm-hmm. uh, manufacturing process ke jitne bhi hazards hai right okay. they are exposed to that and your job is to you know take care of that uh you know uh side effects making uh, making yeah yeah making arrangements to you know negate the effect of hazards for mm-hmm. your employees right mm-hmm. so the main this is uh, the bigger picture uh occupational health physicians needs to do mm-hmm. okay so there are by virtue of you know uh, the industry uh has laid certain norms mm. right for employee wellness and well being and and industry as well as government as well mm. so you know complying to that uh, mm. like this uh unke health ke liye uh, annual medical examinations hone chahiye by annual medical examinations hone chahiye pre employment mm. before they get into the space get into the job uh, they need to undergo mm. medical examinations before they are assigned any job Mm. Right. So these are the uh, criteria government and industry has laid out for their employees. And as a doctor, you need to take care of all of them. Apart mm. from that, uh, you need to see regular uh, OPD kind of things when you are there into the your OPD space. Mm. Uh, various employees come with the various uh, uh, various uh, problems of their own and of their you know uh, near and dear ones. that mm-hmm. uh, sir i'm i'm facing uh, uh, this this these things uh, that may not be you know uh, all the uh, which uh, mostly physical but some uh, sometimes you are also dealing with the mental health issues also you know mm-hmm. some prejudices some kind of things some mm-hmm. you know uh, some ailments uh, mm-hmm. which is being solved by the great uh, counseling well uh, you can solve with them also, uh, that by that only so a lot of opd patients are going to be there hmm. plus uh, it is uh, apart from opd apart from medical checks you hmm. are supposed to uh, you know uh, take hmm. tra- various training sessions uh, for the employees which is uh, which is uh, i i believe it is a good thing uh, you know to uh, you know educate them regarding the hazards they are uh, mm. being mm. they are uh, the hazards they are you know faced uh, with they are facing while working okay mm. ergonomical hazards uh, you know uh, the chemical hazards the uh, various hazards is present in, in the companies mm. so uh, they also need to get educated and it is the responsibility of occupational health physician to make uh, make their um, uh, their company's employee understand the hazards and how to get uh, themselves prevented from it okay. right so these are you know apart from uh, what we can say is you know what we have uh, been taught in into the medical college or hospital mm-hmm. this is a uh, uh, you know uh, it is only a 30 to 40% of it and the rest 60% is uh, more of uh, you know uh, policy making administrative thing Absolutely. but yeah that uh, that has a base uh, in medical route itself because okay. without medical doctor this cannot uh, go uh, uh, this cannot be 
uh, fruitful. Yeah. Uh, this will mm -hmm. not be fruitful. Yeah. Okay. Okay. नहीं नहीं दिस इज दिस इज इंटरेस्टिंग टू नो सर कि एक्जैक्टली ऑक्यूपेशन हेल्थ फिजिशियन करता क्या है तो एक और चीज बिकॉज नाउ यू हैव योर ओन यू नो ओन कंपनी इनटू दिस स्पेस हाउ डू यू थिंक इफ एनी मेडिकल स्टूडेंट प्लान्स टू परस्यू दिस कोर्स राइट नाउ और यू नो गो फॉर इट व्हाट इज द स्कोप कमिंग अप इन द कमिंग 10 इयर्स एंड शुड दैट पर्सन गो और नॉट गो हाउ डू यू थिंक यू नो थिंक थिंग्स आर चेंजिंग व्हेन ऑन द इंडस्ट्री साइड फॉर दिस see uh, uh, as you are well aware you know mm. with the make in india initiative of mm. uh, modi mm. government mm. right so a lot of companies are coming to india right now you know mm. recently an airbus and tata made mm. one pact and they are going to you know uh, make one uh, manufacturing unit into the uh, mm. baroda itself mm. right and foxconn is also coming uh, in the ahmedabad region mm. right mm. so uh, gujarat maharashtra uh, mm. even uh, mp rajasthan mm. all are and uh, one of my friend recently said that uh, in next 5 years mm. up is going to be you know industrial hub uh, mm. it is going to be there mm. so a lot of manufacturing units are coming here and it is going to be there indians are by 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 nature by virtue mm. are enterprising they are uh, they, they will open up uh the uh, units has uh, continued in uh, mm. so uh, there are a lot of opportunities for the occupational health physician if at all they uh, they want to pursue it so not at all uh, in a area of opportunity for them yeah uh, the having right attitude uh is what count right mm. so not every person uh every student every medico is destined to be occupational health physician or neither they will uh, nor they will you know uh, fit into the category bilkul right so you need to be very uh, uh, you know self motivated even if if you are doing uh, a job into mm. in in one of the company or uh, you are uh, doing your own consultations and running your own company to provide the services to the industry mm -hmm. you need to be you know self motivated uh, you know you start uh, something uh, by yourself you know uh, so aapko company ke best interest ke liye aapko work karna padega you know there are some people who who thinks that you know getting a job in a company is like you know you sitting around into the medicals uh, medical center in the company and uh, Nine to five job you will need to do and then come back home. He is not going to be a very good successful occupational health physician. He need to come up with a lot of ideas for the uh, well being of the employees and okay. uh, you know you are sharing some space with the top management guys also. You know mm -hmm. like the company is having you know plant head, uh, HR uh, heads, uh, EHS heads. You know you are sharing space with them. So likewise uh, you also need to provide some. uh a fruitful inputs uh, that is going to be benefited uh, for the uh, employees thank you so much you know sir to give depth inside it ki kis tarike se hamari you know industrial space but in hence there will be increase in the employment for this space yes 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 so now so, ha sir yeah. please batai तो सर जिस तरीके से आपने बताया वॉट आर दाइंड ऑफ कोर्सेज और सर्टिफिकेशन यू सजेस्ट दरेंट स्टूडेंट्स टू गो फॉर टू परस्यू दर कोर्सेज इन टू दिस सो देर आर मेनली टू कोर्सेज अवेलेबल यू नो ए एफ आई एच फर्स्ट इज ए एफ आई एच दैट इज एसोसिएट फेलो इन इंडस्ट्रियल हेल्थ विच इज अवेलेबल अक्रॉस इंडिया विच इज बींग अक्रेडिटेड बाई डी जी फास्टली director general uh, in factory advice services and labor institute mm -hmm. and the second course is being run by the you know ms university mm -hmm. right now uh, which is in baroda and the that course is pgcis post graduate certificate in industrial health mm -hmm. the first course is full time 3 months course afih you need to you know uh, undergo the training for whole day mm -hmm. um, 9 to 6 uh, for 3 months the second course pgcih that is being run by ms university it is uh, you know uh, it is a weekend course uh, you you need to attend the course classes for twice a week uh, mostly saturday sundays and uh, uh, for whole day 
and mm. uh, after it uh, you need to undergo the clearing exam and mm. once you clear it uh, you are awarded certificate mm. and uh, that uh, that has a practical uh, evaluation and visit to the actual industry sites also yeah, okay. so uh, written tests uh, uh, verbal uh, uh, presentations and everything is part of the curriculum and once you clear that uh, you are uh, given a certificate of being a physician health physician industry health coach mm. so yeah after that you can join uh, some industry and uh, you can start your career from that point on mm-hmm. so sir you have made courses bataye hain yeah. these are also you know after this you can also practice this occupational health physician outside india as well occupational health uh, uh, outside india uh, they okay. have very uh, different certifications available uh, there are other agencies uh, who are who is providing certifications for this course also but this course definitely going to be help, uh, helpful right if you have undergone this uh, course uh, the the you know intake on the basis of this course uh, is uh, you know is phenomenal uh one or two uh my senior uh, colleagues have uh, been uh, into the you know uh, eastern region of you know uh, uae and dubai and the other space they are uh, working with a good oil and uh, natural gas companies mm. so yeah there is there are scope uh, uh, for occupational health uh, in the other countries as well if mm. you want to go this courses here also mm. so after these courses we search for you know job opportunities on our own if i'm not wrong and these courses do not help us in placement what do you suggest yeah nee uh, there are uh, like nokri.com indeed.com uh-huh. there are many uh, openings are available uh, they, the, the portals uh, there are requirements of factory medical officers mm. uh, as the industries are coming up so you need to check in with that and uh, most of the time uh, you will get uh, in the whatsapp group you will come around a certain openings uh, because you know the uh, you know the agencies like us right they are also uh, uh, you know in search of good candidates who are good right. occupational physicians also right. so we are also ready to give the job uh, mm-hmm. to the uh, a uh, good occupational uh, physician or not for uh, they may not have the experience but the good doctors who is fit for the job we are also open uh, and so uh, getting opportunity in occupational health is not a big thing provided that uh, the current uh, industrialization status we are enjoying right okay. now as a country okay, okay. so you know sir understanding ki kahan se hum kar sakte hain courses kya certifications hote hain now coming down to you know what jobs to mil jati hai par kya different different areas hote hain what are the so if you can help people understand ki kya isme aise hota hai ki kuch areas you know there are different areas to jaise are different industries work differently with occupational health physician for yeah. example automobile hai ya you know manufacturing hai ya kis matlab how do you suggest and for those people who are you know if you can guide them when it comes to See. yeah so see uh, every company has its own culture right so how things done uh, in that company is different is very uh, from company to company mm. right there are companies available who gives very uh, paramount importance to the medical facility available with them right mm. and there are companies who give uh, moderate importance right okay uh, this needs to be done for employees and doctor needs to be consulted like that and there are companies who give you know uh, doing out of you know a compliance aspect uh, with the government mm. so a doctor the, the person who is uh, engage with the company needs to uh, you know evaluate his uh, requirement uh, uh, with the needs uh, by the company right company usse kya chahti hai what kind uh, what kind of things is company uh, expecting from the doctor uh, regarding the services that he will be providing wo identify karna bahut important hai 
because uh, where where there are when you are associated with some company who is you know uh, who is uh, not that much inclined uh, for the various programs that doctor normally uh, creates for the well being of employee agar company is not uh, that much uh, into it so all your efforts of uh, suggesting new programs suggesting new initiatives for well being of the employees will uh, will not be you know uh, fruitful lies so it will not be fruitful mm-hmm. but when there is a culture uh, you know there are, i have we have been associated with so many companies who are very uh, aggressive on employees well being mm-hmm. so they make it a point to uh, you know that uh, twice thrice or uh, sometimes every month they need to they are providing the different programs like you know exercise programs uh, uh, you know uh, they are into the health talks on various topics mm. uh, they are into the you know uh, many uh, medical camps dental checkup camps and everything they are performing for their employees so aise so, companies mein aapko agar aise uh, opportunities milti hain mm. so then you will also be you know motivated to you know stay afloat uh, the uh, the culture and uh, uh you will be able to move but the occupational health physician needs to you know uh, fine tune with the culture of the company and uh, provide the services accordingly mm-hmm. the second aspect what you have asked is you know is there any differentiation uh, of the uh, you know uh, the kind of uh, work required depending mm-hmm. upon the company's uh, mm-hmm. manufacturing division so there are automobile companies there are chemical companies there are uh, pure engineering companies right so based on this company's manufacturing process there are different hazards mm. and that those hazards depending upon those hazards you need to uh, make available the arrangements of medical facilities inside mm. your clinic uh, we say it ohc occupational health centers okay. occupational health center कंपनी के मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस के हिसाब से उसमें अवेलेबल इक्विपमेंट्स भी बहुत डिफरेंस रहते हैं बिकॉज वेर देर आर हाई नॉइज देर आर कंपनीज हु मेक अवेलेबल दी ऑडियोमेट्रिक मशीन फॉर देर एम्प्लॉयज टू यू नो रेगुलरली मॉनिटर द स्टेटस ऑफ देर हियरिंग एबिलिटीज द कंपनी हु आज हैविंग हाई ऑन यू नो फ्यूम्स एंड डस्ट दे आर ऑल्सो मेकिंग अवेलेबल द Uh, pfp machines pyrometric mm-hmm. machines for regular monitoring of their employees right mm-hmm. where there are you know uh, regular cuts and uh, injury crush injury kind of thing is happening mm-hmm. we are uh, making available all the you know uh, dressing material available auto cleaning everything facilities here because you know we just want to regular continue uh, using it uh, mm-hmm. continually using it like this mm-hmm. Hmm. so yeah uh, so uh, that is the uh, different based upon uh, the kind of manufacturing is going on the co- and the company culture also how much uh, do they want there are some companies who is you know like uh, they will uh, try to uh, uh, make so much arrangements uh, for their employees uh, that hmm. uh, they engage uh, laboratory facilities also uh, present Uh, inside the factory premises the all their employees medical tests are being uh, run in house right mm. Mm. and some uh, some of it uh, is outsourcing that uh, lab testing facility mm. so it it differs company to company mm. but uh, you know your services remains constant depending upon the fine tuning uh, of the company culture mm. your services as a occupational physician advisory role as well as uh, treating uh, doctors role it remains constant Hmm. this is this is very nice to know to is cheez mein aap you know do you need now when you have your own company and you provide this kind of services to different companies how much is the manpower and the operation systems that is needed in this you know kitna what do you think that every occupational health physician should know about these two things see it is very uh, different uh, thing manpower required for a system to run Hmm. you know i have i have uh, 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 kept it uh, lean uh, for my offices i i we have around five staff in our offices to uh, take uh, take up different processes that we provide for our clients 
Mm-hmm. Right. Our client involves, you know, uh, uh, major MNCs, uh, mm-hmm. the, the, the nationalized companies, uh, Gujarat government companies, and uh, the smaller units, mm-hmm. uh, which is in, uh, available into the uh, nearby GIDCs. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. to cater to the services of uh, each and every one of them, we all we need to uh, have the team, mm. right, uh, for our offices. So it is going to be there. Mm. Plus, we also uh, have uh, the team of uh, technical staff, That's which true. is deputed at the at our client sites, because mm. we run the uh, occupational health uh, centers operations mm. for various clients of our own. So for that, uh, there are deputed staff. Uh, which is uh, required. Uh, it, it depends upon the requirement as per the company, right? Mm-hmm. Some company requires it is round the clock. Some company requires it is for the general shift. Some company requires it's a part time. Mm-hmm. So likewise, it is available. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, for us, our uh, the center, mm-hmm. uh, it is uh, we have kept it lean uh, mm-hmm. to you know more efficient uh, you know outcome we can mm-hmm. deliver. You know. Mm-hmm. So it is highly uh, catered to these specific requirements. Requirements, correct, correct. Yes, 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 yes. This is fantastic to know, sir. In fact, you know, Doctor Sh- Shivagri is saying very good, sir. Abhishek is also like, you know, it's an amazing session. Thank you so much, sir. You know, people are really happy with the kind of inputs that you're yes. sharing with us. So yes. now, understanding, sir, ki. Manpower or operation? And what about yeah. operation systems? Are there any operation systems, you know, as that that you have in place for these kinds of OHCs? Yes, and- yes, 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 yes. So major uh, while running the OHC, we provide major three uh, kind of uh, three to four kind of services is there. Mm-hmm. First is uh, as an organization, we are uh, ProMed, uh, right? Mm-hmm. So ProMed is providing uh, them uh first as a, a consultation services doctor consultation services mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so some company requires a doctor consultation twice in a week some company requires twice in a week and some company requires that doctor uh, services needs to be there for every day of the week either two hours either four hours or either whole day mm-hmm. so likewise we we provide a doctor services mm-hmm. the second one is the uh, ohc operations with the manpower deployment over there so majorly it is uh, a staff nurse available, uh, staff nurse who is experienced into the OHC or if uh, there are there are sometimes uh, freshers are also coming and we train them along the uh, course that uh, in industry, those are the staffs, they are coming directly from the hospital, right? They don't have a previous experience of working in an OHC. But they want to, you know, shift to the OHC culture, uh, uh, company culture. Mm-hmm. Company ke saath agar wo kaam karna hai, they, they, they come with us and uh, we uh, we interview them. We, you know, find a suitability of, you know, the behavioral aspect. You mm-hmm. always, uh, always uh, teach them skill, but not the attitude. So mostly we, you know, we try some, uh, you know, we interview them for some portion of skill and the, the whether they will be, you know, uh, accommodating with the new culture, new behavior uh, mm-hmm. patterns required for the industrial setup. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they they most of the uh, of them learns the skill uh, which is required a day to day basis. Uh, you know, uh, like uh, documentation portion, uh, like you know emergency handling portion, like you know uh, the the handling of uh, people, handling of employee requirement. Mm-hmm. Hospital may be sub nahi hoga, because you know the nursing staff would uh, be required to perform as per the doctor's instruction. They will say it, they give him procedure. She will just need to go to the uh, space and uh, take out the injections and give it to the uh, person. But here, uh, the nursing staff and the doctor needs to deal with the company employees, and some of it is having a unions. So, you know, they need to be tactful about it, uh, mm. that how they are dealing with it. Mm. So second is OHC operations with the, you know, uh, uh, the manpower placement. Mm. The third one is the medical checkups. Mm. Most of the company and recently, uh, 
it has a it has seen great shifts uh, into the medical checkups and taking care of mm-hmm. medical needs of the employees by the companies. So most of them are right now. Uh, at least they have started believing that at least once in a uh, year, all of their employees under needs to undergo medical checkup. It is beneficial to both of them. You know, company also gets to uh, gets insight into the healthcare of uh, their employee, as well as employee gets to know that where I stand. There are many employees who is diagnosed with high blood pressure and uh, high diabetes uh, mm-hmm. during the annual health checkups. Mm-hmm. They have, uh, you know. So likewise, uh, so third is this. The, the fourth is uh, training and development part. Okay. We are uh, we are uh, giving a lot of trainings, uh, mm-hmm. like first aid trainings, like the ergonomic trainings, uh, like the trainings on lifestyle diseases. Mm-hmm. Likewise. Mm-hmm. Ambulance services also, you know, forms uh, the part uh, to managing the medical services into the industries. Mm-hmm. And uh, that portion is, you know, developing, you know, the various kind of camps, uh, like dental checkup camps, you know, uh, New York, which, uh, you know, one of my uh, client company uh, underwent uh, the food soul uh, measurement kind of thing that it, it Changes uh, your uh, footstep. Uh, mm. support the basis pe wo humne perform okay. So uh, there are diverse requirements, uh, and it is for employee wellness. So looking into that, uh, whatever best you can do. Uh, there are programs. Uh, many of my uh, friends who are there in the companies, they are running very uh, long duration programs mm. uh, like. Uh, uh, monitoring of, uh, you know, blood pressure and high uh, diabetes uh, group patients and mm. taking uh, taking their regular updates, regular feedbacks, regular counseling sessions, as well as regular medical checks for mm. them so that they, they lead a healthy lifestyle, they mm. lead a healthy life and it is, is they are productive. Mm. Because see, what the company wants that employee is, you know, healthy and they take, uh, you know, uh, they are... Jitna wo healthy feel karenge, utna company ki efficiency products Definitely. production Definitely. will be better. That's true. So, That's true. It's, imp- it's very important to take care of employees, and that is the reason. Employees. Yes, yeah. yes. Employees are the assets to the companies, and companies, uh, however, lately they have started uh, the feeling of you know that these are our assets, and if they are healthy, they are going to be uh, you know productive for the company as well. Correct. And employees are also, they have learned that company is doing so much for us. Yes. Uh, so we we just don't, uh, you know, do hanky panky things with the companies. That's like true. That. That's true. So, you know, uh, understanding your entrepreneurial journey, what you do, what you do, what you do, what you do in this space. Mein. Now, understanding your lifestyle behind it. You know, the, every, every, you know, specialization you pick up after your, you know, graduation as a doctor, lifestyle or pros and cons. So now becoming an occupational health physician, how do you suggest, you know, is your life was your lifestyle as a when you were doing your job and now as an you know entrepreneur, how do you think it is different? And if you can share that with the audience. Yeah. So uh, there are mainly uh, two differences uh, uh, in a life uh, life of a uh, the person who is doing job and who is doing his own uh, enterprise. Mm. So when I was doing a job, uh, my routine was set. You know, I was having, you know, uh, 9 a.m. to I just need to uh, give, a, give a punch, uh, in punch and out punch at 6 p.m. Uh, and then after I'm, I'm, I'm uh, relaxed. Emergency, so then we need to uh, go and see. And then we are uh, on, my, on our own. So this was uh, when I was doing job, mm. but now I I leave my home eight a.m. <laughs> and uh, I came back around uh, eight eight p.m. eight eight nine p.m. I'm I'm not sure uh, we we are we are never sure that uh, at what mm. time we it is. But yes, it is rewarding. Uh, the the kind of uh, the work we are doing, you know, mm. I. Uh, I try to consult as uh, many industries, like four industries in a day of two hours each duration right now. there are When there is a four hours requirement, I, I also perform that. But 
relatively it is two to uh, three to four industries in a day. We we perform the consultations for them by uh, in their premises, mm. right? So that consultations happen. Various employees, various employees with various requirements, employee with various uh, you know symptoms, employee with various uh, complaints. They visit us and uh, uh, we try to solve their problems. Mm. Uh, some of them it is solved by the medicines. Some mm. of it is solved by the advices, and some of uh, of which is solved by the counseling, sheer counseling. So likewise. So after that, I came to my office, uh, take care of, you know, we are having uh, multiple clients. So yeah. office operation is also, we have, uh, uh, we have staffs uh, present over in our office. So I take up uh, their uh, daily, uh, they have performed what kind of works and uh, and you know, once you are having multiple clients, uh, every ऐसा भी नहीं रहेगा कि सारा दिन clean रहेगा, कहीं से कोई का you know requirement नहीं है या कहीं से कोई troubleshooting नहीं होगी। तो troubleshooting uh, comes down, uh, trouble comes and उसको shoot करना है वो uh, we just need to ensure that 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 solution we needs to be provided to them। तो पूरे दिन those uh, team uh, take up uh, this thing uh, with of course uh, some of them uh, some of it comes to me and some of is being handled uh, at their own level mm. so uska review hota hai sham ko and then uh, the other uh, course the medical checkups hote hai uske reports review hote hai i i uh, i review the reports of the medical checkups that we perform mm. and uh, then yeah uh, see if you are an entrepreneur you need not only uh, your technical side uh, being highlighted. You know, you just need to learn HR. In my case, I needed to learn the HR mm. because uh, many of the staff is uh, being deployed by us. The I need to learn the accounts also <laughs> because if you don't learn the accounting, you don't learn the integrity of the, you know, accounting. So you are, uh, you know, in some major trouble. Cool. I need to learn some administration also. You know, mm. by, but by default, the doctor is a good administrator, I guess. Yes. You know, they they, uh, they administrate their patients. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, administration, HR, accounts, and, you know, some some portion of branding is also being learned by the doctor. You know, I needed to learn it. Okay, where, how, how we can, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah, uh, make our brands more visible to get, uh, uh, you know, more uh, to go to the more uh, people mm. it reaches mm. more people mm. so some things uh i need to you know take care of all the things a little bit it was over the period of time when i started i was all alone mm. right i i was the when the first uh such service uh contract uh, was awarded to us i was all alone but i was confident enough that i'll be able to uh you know uh, uh take care of it and you know, uh, we were taking. There were many consultants associated with us, and who were able to help us out, and you know, establishing ourselves. But over the period of time, as your uh, work grows, uh, your client grows, so you need to you know hire people uh, in your team, and they uh, you need uh, put to put lot of efforts uh, to them. So yeah, so the uh, automation automation of process you need to ensure. Hmm. Once you ensure that thing, uh, things will uh, start running uh, with less efforts and automated, uh, automated, automatically. So yeah. So now understanding, you ki, you know, this this thing is always related to industries, and you know, if someone job karna chata hai, so things are pretty simpler as I understood from your end. You know, it's it's morning till evening, apart from emergencies. So yes. we, because this this is related to industries, are there that there are more opportunities in the interior sides of, you know, in the outside of the cities and not yes. in the metros? Or is it so, you know, how do you picturize that? It is very nice that you asked this point. You know, I, I just want to uh, let people know mm-hmm. that if you want to, you know, my first job uh, was at... Uh, very distant place and uh, very uh, uh, in outskirts of the mm. city's area. Mm. 
uh, I was uh, ready to do that job. You know, right now, people who are ready to uh, move the outside of their comfort zone, uh, they want to, they can leave their hometown and, you know, go outside. There are ample opportunities available. Right now, we have got uh, good openings in the outskirts, right? It, and it is uh, like Kutch region uh, in Gujarat. Like, you know, uh, distant region, uh, there are a lot of companies and companies are going to be there. Uh, there only. They will not going to be the city regions, hmm. right? Some companies are going to be there, like the one who is established way back. Uh, they, by uh, expansion of the city, they just come nearby the city. But hmm. most of the companies are going to be in the industrial zone. And you need to go there. Uh, you need to, uh, some company provide accommodation, township mm -hmm. facilities to their employees and everyone. So mm -hmm. you need to make uh, yourself comfortable uh, mm -hmm. going distant to your, from your place, existing place and uh, stay over there, work with the, uh, the company. And, you know, there, there is hardly, you know, once or twice in a week, uh, you will be able to come to your home and uh, see your parents and everything, or they may be coming to you. But uh, the distance uh, should not matter to you if you want to uh, be an occupational health coach. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, this, is, this is nice to know. And now when understanding about, you know, how does an occupational health physician practice? What is the journey? What is your journey? And if somebody wants to pursue, kya kya hota hai? anything from your end that you want to highlight, you know, that, that we have missed on will be great. You know, something that, that, you students who want to pursue right now as an occupational health physician should keep in mind and be very clear about. If we have see, uh, yeah, in whatever capacity a student wants to pursue this field as an occupational health physician, rather uh, for doing a job or doing a, uh, an entrepreneurship, uh, having his own consultation. One thing he needs to keep in mind that your output, you know, is being constantly measured and evaluated by the companies, whether you uh, know it or not, you know, and it is, it is, uh, it is of paramount importance. If you are working in a good faith, uh, you know, uh, with a good understanding with consciously for the betterment of your employee, your company's employee, it is uh, being, and you should work. Uh, your, your thing is uh, not like, you know, I get a job of nine to five and I just need to punch in and punch out and come back. You know, you just need to provide your input uh, for the betterment of the employees you are working with. Emergency ke liye aapko ready rehna hai. Whenever emergency is there, uh, you need to be available. You cannot cut loose when there is an emergency in a factory. You know, there are many incidences of, you know, uh, like fire and like, you know, uh, the blast. Uh, that is, uh, that may happen, mm. uh, although they are happening very rarely. But when, when that happens, a doctor of the company uh, is, you know, of, of paramount importance, right? So you need to be available for uh, that kind of thing. Those two things, uh, if you take care, the rest thing will, uh, you know, uh, be in place. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And dusra uh, jo may apne experiences se kehna ki, uh, you know, Whatever your long-term goal is, you you just stick to it. You know, if you want to uh, pursue uh, the high-ranking professional uh, job as a, you know, like there are many companies uh, who are giving a global role. In one of, uh, in, in my circle, there are two occupational physicians who are uh, having a global role in their company. So those are managing um, medical services sitting into the, uh, Baroda region, uh, they are managing uh, occupational health services of uh, all the companies of uh, that particular group. They are defining policies, they are defining this thing. So, yeah, you need to be, uh, you know, very crystal clear whether you want to uh, go with the entrepreneurship, go with your own consulting, or you want to rise to the level uh, where, you know, the highest uh, uh, you know, uh, responsibility is being offered to you. For that, all of that thing, you need to prove yourself. You know, yeah. Uh, you have a best interest of your employees at heart, right? You are you have a best interest of the company. You are associated in both the cases, in a job or in a in a 
in a consulting business mm. uh this two need this two needs uh, to be there mm. uh, best interest of company best interest of your employee should be at your heart right mm. Mm. and you need to be innovative also you know uh, just not like that the old practices should keep continuing and you are just doing that out of no interest you just need to be genuinely interested into your mm. company's employees health status and health well being all right, all well mm. overall well being of the government your employees mm-hmm. so no, this is very very interesting and very importantly mentioned you know that when working with companies you are always evaluated you know yes sir. absolutely so now sir with as i see your entrepreneurial journey किस तरीके से आपने प्रोग्रेस किया एंड यू आर डूइंग इट एंड वर्किंग सो हार्ड टू वर्ड्स इट लास्टली आई वांट टू अंडरस्टैंड एनी यू नो समथिंग दैट कीप्स यू गोइंग एवरी डे एनी मोटिवेशनल वर्ड्स फ्रॉम योर एंड फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ देयर हु आर डूइंग देयर बेस्ट आल्सो फॉर देयर कैरियर समथिंग फ्रॉम योर एंड दैट दैट यू नो दैट जस्ट कीप्स यू मोटिवेटेड एवरी डे सी फॉर एज अ पर्सन आई आई एम यू नो there are a lot of difficulties coming uh, for uh, coming to me every day you know uh, at one point of time uh, there is uh, uh, it comes from this company it comes from some troubleshooting come from this company everything but you know being positive being healthy being in a positive state of mind it requires lot of efforts on your part if you are uh, you know down uh, your team is going to be down you know they are, and then this uh, the show cannot run That's so true. what i uh, i tell every people who is watching this uh, this thing that you be positive about it whatever is required for yourself to be positive you mm-hmm. do it if you require you know uh, twice a week uh, outing you know aap acche mood mein hona chahiye tabhi ja ke aap ye cheez sab cheez handle kar payenge if you are uh, down if you are so much emotional about anything ke yaar ye galat ho gaya to you know i am uh, where i am stuck you need to be positive you need to be courageous and uh, you need to be very uh, you know authoritative uh, in terms of your technical knowledge and your uh, skills uh, you need to be there i i recently heard uh, mr ambani saying that any anything substantial is not uh is not functionalize it not uh, will not be fruitful uh, until and unless you are courageous to do initially aapko wo lagega ki it is not being done uh, uh it cannot be done uh, by me only but step by step if you try to do it uh, if you try to perform it you are going to aapko aage ke yahan se 10 meter ka rasta hi dekhna hai wahan pe pahunchne ke baad aapko aage ka 10 meter ka rasta और दिखने लगेगा देन आफ्टर टेन मीटर्स का रास्ता और दिखने लगेगा सो इट इज सम व्हाट आई हैव यू नो क्रिस्टलाइज्ड आउट ऑफ माय जर्नी टिल नाउ कि मुझे जो चलना है वो पहले दस मीटर ही चलना है उसके बाद आगे का रास्ता देखा सो एनी वन हुट टू परस्यू एंटरप्रीनियल जर्नी इन दिस थिंग इट इज लाइक एंड एज एन यू नो हाई रैंकिंग पोजिशन इन ऑक्यूपेशनल हेल्थ इन वन कंपनी इट इज ऑल्सो लाइक यू नो uh you need to you know convince your uh, you need to get convince yourself that i need this for my well being of my employee if you are not convince yourself and you know you are presenting your ideas to the management likewise ke sir mujhe ye ye cheez chahiye mere employee well being ke liye so that is not going to be happen if you are convinced they are, they will evaluate you they will judge you uh, they will judge your interest they will judge your you know uh, conscience and then they will grant uh, the new things that you are proposing so in whatever thing you need to be positive you need to you know take a first step take a uh, small steps and uh, you will at, at the end of it you will learn that you have come so far yeah. right bilkul bilkul nahi this is this is a fantastic you know ending note jo aapne diya hai you just need to walk you know 10 steps and further things will come forward with you and just just keep on going is what you try to yeah yeah, yeah 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 at one point of time i am i feel sometimes you know down at the end of the day i feel down but uh, somehow uh, with the grace of god and everything i'm uh, i'm uh, i'm starting my next day very fresh uh, you know jo cheeze hai wo to rahegi usko 
क्या है सामने से एनकाउंटर करना है उस, उसके साथ सामने से आ, देखना है एंड यू जस्ट नीड टू गो थ्रू इट तो रनिंग yes 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 thank you so much sir for this amazing discussion honestly you know people we have comments and people are so happy listening to you there have been comments like excellent advice sir you know superb oh, so thank you very much yes so something that people are really happy with you know you, with your kind of understanding your experience your journey so thank you so much sir for being on the platform you know it has been an immense pleasure discussing your journey with you same here dr ayushi and you are doing a very uh, good work for the budding doctors and the experienced doctors as well we get to learn a lot of things from the interviews you have uh, performing with the other experts and uh, yeah it it provides a lot of insights uh, what is uh, going on in the world around us and uh, how it is going to be so beneficial much. to the uh, people at large it's i i i you know i i you know thank you so much from the deep of my heart you know this is this is something that actually keeps me going also so you know yes, yes, yes a lot and thank you so much everyone for joining us today i hope this discussion has helped you please share it with your friends with your colleagues who are you know maybe looking for something after their graduation or just sharing with them help them understand what a health occupational health physician does so that it can increase their avenues of thinking and maybe you know you never know this something interests them and pursue them as well as yourself if you have any doubts any questions despite after this discussion reach out to us dr kalrab is always there to help you we yes. we can help you connect him to them and solve all your doubts so i hope this discussion might be helpful so do share it as much as possible and make the best out of it so thank you so much sir thank you so much everyone for joining us thank you. thank you thank you they can always reach at promed right Yes, yes, yes. Promed is his company, so yes, it's just that he yeah, wants yeah. to say that no you can actually reach out to him through that also. No so problem. Thank you so much. Thank you.